Hey, welcome back to Kiwi Classics and Customs. Well, actually, it's Kiwi's Man Cave today. I've just been going through some old uh, videos, deleting a bunch of files of stuff that, uh, that we've already used and played and didn't want, and found a couple of videos of the Project Barbera, which is the Red 65 Fastback. So quickly stitch those together for you. Um, it's a little bit out of date now. It's from a couple of months back. Uh, but honestly, I think you'll still enjoy them. Um, it's putting the front drive on the engine, a few other bits and pieces. Some, for where it'll fill in some of the gaps that are kind of obvious on that like chain of videos. So let's go watch the videos. See you guys. Hey guys, back here on the '65 Fastback Mustang. We've been getting a little more, you know, a little bit bit by bit. Um, today we've been uh, getting this shop tower brace on there or export brace they call it uh what else have we done we got uh, the new black valve covers on the customer wants a black more of a black look to this engine we've got a black front drive coming for it uh, we just thought we'd start the video now while we haven't put this side on yet to give you a little look at the at the roller rockers they're really nice scorpion ones um all arp bolts in there uh, it uh obviously we've got the headers on now with the exhaust is run right through to the back so you can have a little look at that we've got the it's a two and a two and a half inch magnaflow system uh, that is running out through the stock um, GT balance with the GT little trim rings uh, and it, but instead of the little piece shooter pipes that normally come out of here uh, we've got three inch tail pipes onto the two and a half inch exhaust so We've done that a couple of times before, it looks really nice. Uh, we've got the fuel tank in here now. Uh, all the fuel lines are run, all the rear brake lines are run. Really, we're just waiting on wheels now, which are next month, and which are kind of holding it up, us up a little bit, and the front drive, which is gonna be next month. So this poor old girl's probably gonna to have to sit in the corner for a week or so, until some of these parts arrive, but anybody that's been on the internet trying to order parts in the last few months will know just how hard it is to get parts. So, that's an update. Um, it's that last sort of little 15% of the 20% of the details that take 80% of the time. Uh, so, while the progress may look may not look vast, it's it's significant all the same. In the meantime, Kev's keeping an eye on the engine, make sure nobody touches that that shouldn't. So he's got Jason's back there. And in the meantime, we're going home. Good night, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back. We're getting uh, a little bit more done on the fastback today. So what we're doing is we're fitting an American bullet front drive system to it. We've been waiting on this one for a couple of weeks now. It's finally arrived. Uh, so yeah, that's going to fill up all this area here. Let's take a look at the kit. Okay, so. First you get a nice big book of instructions. This is like a little novel here, but I mean, it gives you all the information you need. It's pretty good. Uh, everything's in little boxes, little vacuum packed packages. This is a black and um, silver or black and chrome kind of deal. All the, all the little pulleys are, um, you know, all black anodized and then a little, the edges milled off to reveal the aluminum underneath. Everything, oh, hey Kevin. Putting those in around. Everything you need. Uh, alternators, AC pump, we've got a power steer pump here, water pump, uh, all the bracketry and pulleys. It's all nice quality stuff. And it's really gonna set that little car off. Power steering reservoir. And everything's done in that uh, black and chrome finish, which is really gonna add to the appeal of the engine bay on this one so it's going to be nice it starts with this big uh, engine well, i guess you'd call it an engine plate water pump goes on then this bolts on everything hangs off of this so everything's lined up you can't can't really go wrong you don't have to worry about how far back or how far forward each different accessory is because it all mounts off this one solid billet plate so you really can't go wrong yes it's a couple of bucks but it gives you super reliability to all your accessory drives. You don't have to worry about tightening two or three belts all the time, the old V-belts. 
so it's a great addition keeps your car reliable more fun to the mile again and it's the way to go so me and Barry are going to start on this now let's get going okay so we got the uh, water pump on as you can see the little not the little but the big black front plate uh, is in place we're just tightening that on So uh, we're not doing everything up super tight yet, but so that's the laying the foundation. Now we start adding bits and pieces. And here goes the alternator bracket. Just fits in between the main plate and the water pump. It's got the little bracket and a little spacer. Just wiggle that in there. Put the bolt in. Again, just leave it loose because we've got to actually get the alternator in there yet and then we move over to this side and that's the AC pump bracket kind of similar looking bracket just a little bit bigger but you'll get the uh, the gist of it it's pretty well marked and pretty well explained in the instructions so that goes loosely on there okay and here goes the AC pump No pressure Barry, you're only on film for mm -hmm. millions of viewers. Got well, him. Okay, a few hundred viewers maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. And here's the power steer pump. Mounted in its little location. So, coming on fast. And there's, Barry's got the alternator on. It's uh, found its little home. He's just mounting the power steer reservoir over here and getting pretty close, really. Uh, the water pump pulley's just sat there at the moment. Now, one little thing, you guys with sharp eyes, girls with sharp eyes would have picked up. A little problem with the uh, crankshaft pulley. It's uh, really about as far out of the line with everything else as you could get. Uh, now, that's the thing with the Fords. Uh, they have like a short and a long balancer. Uh, what we're going to need to do with that is get uh, a one inch thick spacer that just goes in between the damper and the pulley itself. Uh, so that's a little hiccup, but you know, easy enough to fix. We just got to order one. All in all, the kit I really like. Uh, everything fits, you know, we haven't had to mess around at all. It's uh, probably the end. My only complaint would be that little spacer. Now, Personally, I think for the money you're spending, um, it should come with that spacer and a set of longer bolts. Um, it's like a $25 spacer, you know, $12 shipping. And, you know, on a $2,300 kit, uh, I think, you know, they could, uh, like, put a spacer in there if you need it. You put it on. If you don't need it, you know, it goes to one side. Um, but other than that little uh, observation, uh, I'd say... Pretty nice. Well, catch you next time. So, there you go. A couple of chapters, uh, the missing chapters from the 65 Fastback project. I uh, hope that clears a few little bits and pieces up with you guys. And, yeah. Uh, hope it didn't sound too down at the end of that last video. I think I did a bit, but hey, I was, uh, maybe that's why we lost those videos for a while I was kind of struggling a little bit with the loss of my dad uh, but hey you know life moves on um, that's what he'd want me to do so thought I'd bring you some of this stuff show you a little bit of what goes on at my place uh, you know some of the things that make me smile uh, yeah so hope that clears up a few of the uh, you know obvious gaps in the in the 65 fastback story and gives you a little little wee insight into uh, what goes on after hours <laughs> so yeah all right well you guys have a good night um i've got a bourbon over there with my name on it and i might just go and drink it all righty see you guys <laughs>